Hi, Mike is again, director of Silverhook. I made a decision that I'm going to use that uh, boxing stand that we uh, we spray painted with grey primer. That we were going to use it to, as an example of how wonderful the rest of the range of the Silverhook spray paints are. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the red primer with the uh, scarlet red, and very random. So we need to prime it red first and then we can put the red top coat on and it's the same with the white primer and then we can show you how wonderful the gloss white is. So I'm going to pimp up this boxing stand and then hopefully sell it on eBay. So anyone watching here is going to be posted on eBay, put your bids in. What we do is uh, Give it to very quick coats. Right, we've got a nice, uh, we call it red primer. I think it was used to call red oxide when I was a kid. But uh, there we are, we're going to put the Gloss Scarlet Red. Okay, we'll see how this one rock and rolls. Yeah, looking good to start with. Almost like a hammerite. I can see it coming on. So it's almost like a hammerite finish with the sort of a the mottled effect. Now the yellow one, those of you who know painting have spotted the obvious mistake. We painted the yellow, which is pretty translucent, onto the grey, wasn't thinking clearly. 
of course we should use a white primer on that because the grey is showing through so what we'll do is we'll wait for that to dry we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give it a quick sand wipe off and uh, put some white primer on that and then show that one again what we've done is uh, we've re-primed this one to white primer now we're going to give it another go with the yellow that's much better I can tell straight away I think it looks glossy when you first spray it on, which makes it um, a little bit easier to see which bits you've done and which bits you haven't. I know it's not a, a primer, <laughs> like it's a primer, but I don't think it'll be a problem. A lot of people use the chrome spray paint for classic cars, touching in all those chrome bits that have, uh, especially around the edges, the chrome can peel. So let's see how this looks. Hopefully it's as good as the gold. I'm spraying on top of the, um, the aluminium. I think that's uh, not a problem. Let's go around this side to start with so you can see what we're doing. Can't see much there. It's coming out beautifully. The nozzle's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay, that is a beautiful finish. But you can see my fingerprints there. I've, I've changed my latex gloves. I've obviously touched something, a little bit of uh, grease. I don't know, it looks like, it could be, I don't think it's silicon. That looks like a grease print to me. And of course it's repelled the paint. So if you look elsewhere, that is absolutely gorgeous. That is a lovely, gorgeous, gorgeous coating. I'm very angry. I'm not sure where I have to... I think you can prime over that just quickly when that dries. I think disastrous happens. Don't try and pile paint over it to resolve it. That's the worst thing you can do. You, get, you could have wrinkling, you could have all sorts of issues and you're gonna end up with real trouble. Just leave it. Let it set, let it, let it harden, let it, let, let, let it dry, have a cup of tea, come back, make a decision what to do. Probably, I'm gonna have to, I, I might have to degrease it with a bit of methylated spirits or white spirit or a, a cellular, I don't do cellular spirits, so I'll take it all off. Um, all probability, just a little bit of um, undercoat on top, primer, and then give it another quick spray over. It's with, undercoated on the um, those fingerprints and we just give it a quick uh, look at that that's beautiful well this is the finished article to be honest I spent more time with it than I should have done it's 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 almost like an industrial bit of kit, you put a punch bag on it, it gets bashed and crashed. But um, it's just for demonstration purposes and I think it's, uh, I, it, it's tidied it up quite beautifully. It's not a professional job, I know that, but it's, uh, it's made it look quite interesting. I'm tempted not to sell it on eBay, I'm tempted to keep it now.